So I actually wanted to talk about like the state of karate and how did it get here. <laughs> and I want it to be like, I want us to make some enemies <laughs> with this podcast. <laughs> What do you mean, dude? It's the white man's fault. Like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> nah. I mean, that's a. Uh... Because I was thinking, well, I was the reason why I was thinking that is like the prominent styles are what, like the sports style, the Shotokan stuff. Yeah. And then on the other end of the spectrum is like the Kyokushin, like hard body stuff. <laughs> and then there's small pockets of just. The Okinawans who kind of have a more holistic approach, right? Yeah, but that's, but like, that's a, like, how we got to where it's like, those are like the predominant things? Yeah. Well, I mean, that's pretty easy, right? Like, I mean, it doesn't take a lot. Well, I was thinking, though, because it's like, because, you know that comic book that I had? Yeah. With, with the Okinawan masters? Yeah. Like, they were lifting rocks for, for strength, not right. for speed and endurance and and resistance man stuff, right? Right, yeah. Like that. Yeah, that's that's a bunch of quackery. Like, all in uh... Yeah, you, you lift stuff to get stronger, like, that's it. Like, I mean, to, to create, like, speed and power, but, like, the whole idea that there's, like, this other... that there's this other modality to, like, like, why you should be lifting, I don't understand that. Like, the whole, like, quote-unquote functional thing, like... Well, it's all it's all to perform a function, right? Like, I mean, right. You're not. I'm not lifting heavy stuff, so I, so it's still so, so I can be more comfortable under pressure, right? So I can lift heavier things or things as heavy, right? Right. But it's like you have to do enough different things so that it's transferable, right? Like you can't. Yeah, if you, you don't really specialize, then yeah, yeah, then you don't get anything out of it, right? For so, sure. But I mean, the whole thing about like how how those sects of karate became that, I mean, it seemed, it would seem to me that, I mean, aside from like the whole historical thing about, you know, how Japan took it and then did whatever to it to make it adaptable to civilization or whatever for them, uh, after it to now, is that those, those are the things that are the easiest things, like, they simplified it, right? You cut out like all the other stuff that takes way, 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 way more work. Right. And is is way it's like has another element of danger to it. And you say, Well, we're just doing this one part. And it's like you make it really easy for people to excel at that. It's like saying like uh like if you study like one realm of physics and then it's and then say like, well, but but be able to apply it, you know, to to every other realm, like, you know, it's being a jack of all trades versus a yeah. A master of one, you know, like you can't. It's hard to be that jack of all trades and be good at all, at all, at all of them. But you can be a master at one thing because it's that one thing. It's very linear. The training becomes very linear. You don't have to do a lot. It's like punch and kick. Learn how to punch, kick, punch and kick faster and harder. Yeah. Like, sorry, that's not hard to learn how to do. Like, I, I don't know if people haven't figured that out. Like, it just, it, it's kick a lot, punch a lot, lift stuff in the same range of motion, work out the rest of your body, and guess what? You get there after, like, lots and lots of repetitions. It's like lifting lifting these weights, like, right? You lift, you create that motor neuron pathway, and you do it a lot, you do it a lot, and then your body gets good at it, and then you get stronger, and so forth and so on. But that's super one-dimensional, right? Like, it doesn't... Right. So, yeah, I mean, so, yeah, like, kick and punch. And that's the thing that's with both of them, right? Point karate and kyokushin. What else? I was thinking with Kyokushin or, or Masayama specifically, how yeah. he like dominated all those karate schools. It was like he chose a drill and just specialized yeah, in it. Right? That's yeah. exactly what you're saying. Yeah, like, and he was he he was big. He was yeah, he was a yeah. big dude. And then he was like really good at that one drill. Right? It's like yeah, I mean he picked one element of the whole entire style and then just you know ran with it hard, you know, just capitalized the hell out of it, you know? Like, and yeah. we were talking about this privately, how people kind of just gravitate towards the individual that, like, does that and they try to emulate it themselves, right? Oh, yeah. So that's, like, the whole, like, you know, Jeet Kune Do kind right. of thing, you know? You know, making something for yourself and then, like, everybody wants to be that instead of trying to use it to create their own 
their own thing, right? Which is what we always try to push on to people, like, you know, don't necessarily be like us, but use what we teach and develop yourself that way, right? For sure. But, yeah, I don't know, man. Everybody gets so, like, offended so easily. <laughs> and then I was thinking, like, once the onset of MMA came about, and, like, people were like, oh, crap, this karate stuff doesn't work against a grappler. So then the karate instructors just, just like, shunned that. And then it became this huge, like, elitist personality, right? Where I was like, those guys can just grapple, they can't strike. So we're the striking specialists, and therefore he comes to us to be those strikers. Right, right. Because there's a, there's a diploma that says they're specialists. Right, right. right. <laughs> I forgot. Well, it's a certificate from Japan, dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Super funny. So I was like, it's an easy way to... I mean, that's, like, basic, um, like argumentative politics, right? Where it's just, yeah. you attack their character and therefore you... Yeah, like, versus attacking the actual <laughs> thing. Right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty... That's pretty funny. It's just, I guess, like, and you know, it's, it's, it's funny that people can't... People aren't okay with, like, talking about it like that because they feel so, um... Uh, like, they're so attached... And like I'm not saying like they, they shouldn't feel like whatever it is that they do is a part of them, but it's like allowing somebody else's words to affect you. Like you can defend you can defend what you believe without without allowing your emotions to like yeah just totally go on a tirade. It's taking your ego out of the equation. Yeah, it's like you know like. People crap on karate all the time. Like in general, just crap on it. Uh, just put on a five. And then, uh, and it's like, you know, it's not like I go cry in a pillow about it or anything. And then I, I don't believe in tears. They're not real. You gotta take a shower so that you, so that you can't tell if you're crying or not. Just gotta, as soon as you feel that, if you got first one squirting out and you suck it back in and you jump in the shower and you just don't know. Am I crying? I don't know. Maybe. To live in a rainy city. Yeah. Seattle. Yeah. I don't know. But yeah, I mean, that's why those those two styles took off, right? Because a couple of people who were really good at them said, well, let's, <laughs> let's, let's fight, but you cannot grab me, and you can't put me on the floor. Right. By the way, you don't know this, I'm really, really fast, and I'll hit you with this one punch <laughs> before you even touch me. You know? <laughs> like, I don't know, man. And it's it's funny, and then it becomes it gravitates towards like the honor system that you have to do in those rules to be like an honorable fighter. Right. Maybe. Yeah. Because so, that's a, such a perfect plan. Yeah. <laughs> perfect yeah it's plan. Super devious, right? Like yeah. I'm gonna create this one thing that only I'm good at, right? <laughs> it's like it's like Matt likes marketing, you know. It's like the same thing. Yeah, it's, it's like you know, just totally making monopolizing that whole deal. Super funny. So that's what they teach in marketing. Like instead of trying to enter a market, you create a market for yourself, and then they have to. And enter then they have to enter your market. And you know what? It's fine. Like it's cool. Like, but I mean, it is what it is. Yeah. Right. It's not. You have to acknowledge that. Yeah. Right? It is. And if you can do that, like, hey, like that's great. Like it's a sport. It's fun. It's enjoyable. It keeps you doing stuff. There's. There's a lot of positive stuff about about all styles and everything, but like where everybody comes off like, just be like super boastful about I, I don't know like what like dude like you, like everybody ends up the same way yeah. at some point man like we all we all get here the same way you know with, well until they start you know <laughs> until people start living like two hundred years two hundred years in robots and like yeah. making us in petri dishes. Or like womb sacks taken from like pigs or something. You, you saw know. that, man? It's I was weird. just fucking making that up because I assumed oh, that you had the next it, thing. Yeah. I haven't seen that. Is that already they, happening? They just grew a lamb in a sack. Dude, because it's like the DNA is so freaking like, oh god, man. There's so they many. Gotta send you that video. <laughs> it's the Matrix, dude. That's, dude, yeah. that's literally that's what it was. That's what's gonna happen, man. Like, yeah. yep, yep. Life mimics art, they say, right? That's art being those whatever movies, but. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's pretty funny the way the world's going. But you'll see, dude. We'll see when when stuff starts to happen here in, here in the United States. 
It's gonna be funny. It's good to say like we'll be spectators and all that. <laughs> yeah, it's none of that stuff like I don't know, it doesn't really it's it's fun to talk about. Like, I can't say I have too much of a terribly vested interest in it. I'm sure there's people who are like, but of course you have a vested interest in it. You're, <laughs> you're an American citizen. Yeah, that's true. Why don't you take it off the rack real quick? I want to move it down one because once we get up to have your... It's too short. Oh yeah, here. Here, I'll take it off and you move the, the things down. Well, you're also not wearing shoes, so... Uh, it takes off like a half inch, quarter, whatever. It matters. Okay. Think. What is the next best? Uh, two. Two sixty-five. Ah, dude, I need to send you that. Did I send you that video clip of like Sean Connery and Barbara Walters? Yeah. Yeah, right. That's so funny, dude. I couldn't stop laughing. It was terrible. It's a different time. <laughs> He doesn't care. He just doesn't care. It's so hilarious. I, I stand by it. I haven't changed my mind. Uh, this is what, 250? Put on the 5 and the 5. The 5 and the cookie. My bad. The little one. I've not changed my mind. Super fun. Alright, so why should karate guys do strength training and why has it turned into this whole movement thing? Why has it turned into this whole movement? Oh, okay. Well, why should karate guys do strength training? Strength training? And why are they not? <laughs> right yeah, now? I don't know why you're not. If you're not, if you're somebody who's not, every, everybody, karate or not, should, 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 sorry, should do some kind of load variant exercise. I don't know. Um, you want to look at the studies, they'll tell you for males and females, like where, at what age, like your, the max your bone mass density will be, tops off. And then after that, it's really hard to like keep it there. Or it's depending on your diet and your activity level and stuff. Like, I don't know how many patients I have who are, who are taking stuff for osteoporosis, who are like, Kyphotic, you're like leaning over, just hunched over, or you know, just yeah. You know, and, and who wants to be like that? Who wants to not be able to move, right? Or whatever. Like, you don't have to go to extremes and like be like, well, I need to squat 500 pounds or something ridiculous like that. But you need to do something. Everybody needs to do something, whether it's lifting weights or getting out and doing stuff, because it it, it it equates longevity. And it's like those studies that were saying like that's also the best way to keep from getting like heart disease and like plaque development and stuff like that by keeping your your blood pumping but how come you wouldn't or would you how come you you don't like just run and do like kettlebells or oh cause box jumps and stuff because and... kettlebells ain't gonna make you strong like, i mean it'll get you to some point and it's good for like just regular like um like exercise right Right, but there are things that are related to just straight up strength building, and that will build strength like in certain areas, which people could say are more functional or whatever. But, <clears throat> but like, um, if you if you're physical with somebody, doing kettlebell swings does not help you push them around. Right, is that tensile? It's strength? tensile strength. It's being able to hold weight and be able to push up against something. 
I mean, that's look at every athlete. It doesn't matter if they're a basketball player, a football player. It doesn't matter if they ski or swim. Everybody lifts weights, man. Like, there's a reason why everybody does it. Like, none, like, and like the other stuff is good. It's good for like joint health and mobility and stuff like that. So I'm not saying like don't do it, but it should supplement right. like weight routines or body weight routines or something that makes you stress your body out. So, um, something's better than nothing, but if you're planning on going against an opponent, then you need some heavy load. You kind of need a little more than, than sweeping kettlebells. Right. Like, it should be, like I said, like, I've done them before, like, <clears throat> I do other stuff that's similar to it. It's just, that's not, I don't do that and say, like, I worked out. Right. That's, like, either the warm-up or the finisher or whatever. But, yeah, I don't know where that whole thing... Like, you know, just somebody comes up with something and then they push it on the public and then everybody just goes, oh, look at that dude who's super fit. Yeah. He must have got that way by swinging a kettlebell. No. He's either a genetic anomaly using performance enhancement drugs or he already looked like that. Right. Through some other reasons. Yeah. Like, I mean, what, you grew up with them? You're like their friend? You hung out with them? You knew that that's all they did was kettlebell treatment? <laughs> I don't, I, I don't know, man. Everybody just, just believes everything, I guess. I don't know. I, I sound like a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> Two more. Two more, and then it's on to the, to the chest. Chest and back. <clears throat> I was daydreaming about fighting on the drive here. I haven't done that in a while. Really? Where it's... Yeah, it's, it's always the same thing, like daydreaming that it's like an MMA fight in a cage. Mm. But yeah, like, it gets, I don't know why, it gets my adrenaline up like crazy. Yeah. Like, like my body starts tingling, and yeah. you get that like, that snarl. Yeah, like when you're winning? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like you just want to kill this guy. Yeah. It's like, this is what it feels like to be on top, to be a winner. That's what this is. Yeah, it's like some, that's like that, that primal animal shit that never... That never leaves your brain, you know? Yeah. I'm surprised I haven't done that in a while. <laughs> you get, like shortness of breath or Yeah. It's, it's so funny, dude. I mean, it's it's weird because the school is so they pride themselves in being so self defense oriented, like we do the real stuff and everything else is sport. Mm -hmm. And I guess you can pick things out of like styles like Aikido and Hapkido and stuff. Yeah. But then you can also train those in your discipline. Like in Jiu Jitsu, you can say, let's do wrist locks rather right. than let's go to Hapkido Master and learn wrist locks. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's why it's like I don't understand like how, like why we have. Well, I mean, it makes sense for marketing, right? If you don't want to do both. It's money. Right. But, like, you would think someone who thinks that they're self-defense oriented would just pick one thing and master that. Or, or say they are in under an umbrella thing, right? Because then the, the label shouldn't should be irrelevant. If that is your goal. Right. It wouldn't matter, right? Unless it's just like a, like, we don't know enough of this, so we gotta find a, a teacher that specializes in it or something. Yes. That could be. I don't know, man. There's always that thing about, people have that thing about being able to say you have like, right, all these words and names under your. Yeah, I was gonna tell you, he wants me to put my certificate on the wall. What? <laughs> I just kept avoiding the thing, but, cause he has, he has three of his certificates on the wall. And then he's like, every time I talk about karate culture, like, uh, I tell people about that karate I'm in video and I point to the wall because I think your certificate is there and it's not. So, like, Mike, you got to hang your, yours up with your photo. <laughs> like, you put, like, a photo of, like, Ryu there. Yeah. <laughs> it's that guy. <laughs> I was considering just putting the karate culture emblem. Yeah, yeah, that'd be cool. Uh, make that, like, a, a marker, right? A symbol? Might as well, right? That's 
going to be at some point, yeah. or already is, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> this is Roland talking, or? Yeah. Rwando, Roland. Roland, yeah. That's cool. What is he like? Yeah, he's chill about everything. It's just, it's just weird. He's still very traditional, very formal. Mm. I think that's the thing too. When you're like, when you're a Westerner looking at Oriental things, you want to maintain that that mysticism of the Orient. Yeah. Too. Yeah. Well, it's like, I mean, your first kill, you still gotta get blood on your face. But we didn't make you eat. Yeah. Raw deer, but still got. So gotta do that, man. For sure. I guess, dude. Like, I get it. Like, I mean, that. I mean, it makes sense to a degree. Like, I think. I think if everybody's in agreement, it's cool. Right. But the second you start using that as like your tool to like give other people shit or to make yourself feel like better than somebody else or to say that you have more credential. Yeah. Than somebody else, or something. I, I, like at, at that point, like that, that loses value, right. right? Like at least in my eyes, because it's like you're just you miss like to me, it's like you miss the point. Like the point was to do it because you do it for the sake of of doing it to keep that thing alive because that's 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 extra knowledge. That's that's you know other stuff that people get to use or or take with them and you know kind of a deal. So it's learning, right? Yeah. But, but then people just abuse the crap out of stuff because they can't, I don't know, get over themselves or they feel bad about stuff. That doesn't, you know, that's the thing about all that stuff. It's just people who feel bad. People just feel bad about, about themselves, about about stuff, about their situation. So they just, you know, just find other ways, you know. It's, uh, it's like a resume building, right? Yeah. Like, well, dude, like, I see stuff like that. The, you know, people are like, oh, like, uh, a distant so-and-so, associate of blah, blah, bachelors and blah, blah. It's like, dude, like, really? I know you're a dumbass. <laughs> it's like, I don't care what your thing says. Yeah. Like, I went to school with you, bro. Right. Like, you know, it's like, I, 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 I get it. People, other people, I guess, like seeing that. But to me, it just seems so, it just seems so silly. Like, I even feel like that's dying, too, because it's like, you get hired to do the work you're hired for, right? It doesn't yeah. matter where you're from. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that it just matters that you have that a paper. Yeah. You been, have you been following that that uh, that boxer Lomachenko or something? He's yeah. a he's like a I think it's McGregor's weight or uh, Mayweather's weight, but um. So his dad wanted him to be world champion before he was born. So he had like his life planned out. <laughs> Before he was born, so he was boxing as a kid, yeah. and then at like <clears throat> seven or like twelve years old, his dad took him out of boxing and put him into like Ukrainian traditional folk dance for four years. That was part of the plan. Wow. And then he came back to boxing four years later, and now he just dominates just because yeah. of his footwork. Footwork. Yeah. Yeah, that's like uh, I used to talk to one of my buddies um, in school, and we used to say like. We used to we used to joke about taking ballet, like, yeah. like but instead of like first like to seriously become like just hella coordinated, right? And just really really like you know limber and good, just being able to move, right? You know. And I was, you know, I, and it's funny because like when I was in gymnastics when I was a kid, I, uh, my sister was like in ballet, and I remember the ballet teacher asked me if um. I wanted to be in ballet. Like that day, is, that day is like so vivid in my mind. Cause that was that, like that I was like, in a pathway, right? Dude, yeah, I was like a little, I was a little boy. I just remember in that place. It was like a, f a couple miles away from here. In that place, it how it housed like the gym, and and the ballet was right. Next, it was all in this one big warehouse. And I remember like uh, I don't remember what her name was. I don't know the lady's name. Like I was like eight or something. It's like yeah, we need we need a boy, we need a strong boy to pull up all the all the pretty girls or some shit like that. Yeah. Like she said stuff like that, and I was like, no, oh, cooties, <laughs> you know, like, cause you're eight. Yeah. And that's what that is. And I was just like, shit. But like now, I think about it now, and I just I can see that lady just like laughing in my face. Like right, that's that's like really the only image I, I can I can picture. It's just like just 
older white lady just laughing in my face, thinking I was just like the stupidest thing. And I was like thinking, I was like, dude, like, what if I had done that? Like, what if I had, yeah, or what if I just did that like with, because I, because they were at the same time or they were like offset. I was like, man, what if I had just done that? I was like, okay with it, you know. And I didn't have like any hangups as a kid, right? You know, and I was just like, yeah, screw it, I'll do, I'll do ballet and gymnastics, and I did both, you know. I don't know. That's funny. There was a time, senior year in high school, when um, everyone was like choosing the colleges and whatever, and their majors. My, uh, my music director talked to me backstage before one of our final concerts, and she was, she like, like gave a heart to heart that she wanted me to pursue like a, a music degree. <laughs> like straight up, like Michael, you have potential to be like a, like a performer or whatever. <laughs> in a high-end concert hall or whatever just because for singing yeah and then i just told her i was like i'm gonna be a dentist <laughs> 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 my parents want me to go into medical <laughs> and, I was, and then we, i just left it at that and i was like she like took me to the side <laughs> as we were all walking onto the stage for like our last performance required <laughs> Listen, listen, Michael. <laughs> You're the only one here who's any good and has any potential. <laughs> if you get really good, then you get to say that I, I taught you, I trained you. In my head, I was like, I don't want to be a music teacher. I don't want to fail and be you. That's terrible. <laughs> oh jeez, man. Yeah, like uh, when, when, like that when I did that that Conte. Uh, drawing in class that was after this uh, sculpture model of Zeus that the professor had mm. and I don't remember what kind of studies we weren't doing any like live studies or anything like that really like no live people just like whatever random stills he would create and uh, I don't remember his name um, short ball dude cool he's cool as hell but uh I, like pretty much every other thing you put in there, like everything that we did, I was just like, yeah, I put like half ass. Right. Like everything, I was like, why well, do I want to draw a boot? I don't <laughs> want to draw a boot. I don't want to do a Voss. Yeah. This is, I don't need to do a Voss, you know? <laughs> and then I did that, and I did that like in, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. It didn't really take me that long. But it was like the, the one of the few things I put any effort into, like at all in the class. Yeah. And he was like, Did you just do that? And I was like, Yeah. He's like, You know, if you would just put that much effort <laughs> into all the stuff. And I was like, Well, but you don't put anything on here that I want to draw, man. Yeah. Who knows, man? I could have been somebody. It's cool, man. Karate culture. It's going to be like that. Uh, this is going to be like that. Now, who's that karate sensei who was talking about that stuff? Chasing the rabbits. And he was like, yeah, I want to do art, but then I couldn't be, uh, I couldn't be a really good artist and a professor or karate instructor at the same time, so I had to pick one. Huh. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly the thing. He was like, I wanted to be an artist, but um, he's like, everybody, my father, my uncles, whatever, they're all karate instructors, so I felt I had to do that. He's like, there's still time, I'll, I'll do art later. And I've read about people who do that, like, they, they tackle art, like, in their, when they retire, in their 50s, 60s, whatever. Yeah, man. So that's cool. I mean, there's still time, as long as I keep, like, some relative skills up. For sure. That's, like, a, that's the thing you need time for anyways, you know? I mean, that's a, there's not, like, a... A deadline to hit like strength gains or whatever. Tomorrow. <sighs> We're doing three like this, and then um. Oh, you thought that was the end? Sorry. Yeah. Two more mic, and then um, and then uh, we do the bent over rows, uh, Swiss ball leg curls, and gi pulls, and that's the end. Right, a spot for this. Okay, so there's a spot there for you to lay on. Uh, 
So if you didn't notice, I was dying on that last <laughs> breath. I was wondering. <laughs> I, was oh, like, I was like, I was like, you heard saying it, that like Michael's just gonna fucking go for it. <laughs> and hey, do it, Mike. <laughs> Get after it. One for the Commandant, two for the core. Core don't get theirs today. So you got four? Just one more. I don't think I benched since I left, dude. Really? Yeah, I haven't benched. Well, that's not bad, dude. That's 190. Yeah. It's those uh, dumbbell fish fresh things. Yeah. I bet that helps a lot. Oh, hell yeah. That's the one thing they say. A big bench doesn't really transfer over, and this is not me. So if anybody's watching this, not me, other guys much bigger and stronger, and say like a, a big bench doesn't necessarily uh, transfer over to a big overhead press really well. Mm -hmm. but, but generally, yeah, people with big overhead presses have big, at least relatively big benches because like they have really good shoulder strength and health and shit like that. If I had that back roll down, it would be better too. But yeah. It's not working out. It's all good, like you don't need that anyways. Like it has that's just for like the sake of getting because we're trying to get strength and development, right? In the same go. So if we were just working towards strength, then we would just be manipulating everything we could. Get those get those particular lines down and then just do that. But right. like you said, we don't I don't need to rush it. Like these are the weights probably for like a long time. For sure. um, it's just gonna get being you get better at these, at these moderate intensity, moderate, moderate high intensity weights till they get to where they're low intensity, and then after that it will just be whatever I guess. Give me two reps on this one. Make sure touch your chest, I'll help you up. Alright. Or you like do it like a negative. So go slow down. Okay. As slow as you can, I'll pull it up. Okay. Count to what? Five? Or just as long as I can. Three to four. Three to four seconds all the way down. One, two, three, four, up. One, two, three, four, up. A few more. One, two, three, four, up. Right. Let me I mean, there's there's just two guys who are like. Judo guys who are just, that's like what they warm up with, bro. Oh, Mike. There's, there's crossfitters who are just, they, they smirk. They look at this and they, they smirk with their, their smirkiness smirks. Their smirks of grandeur. Yeah, I was thinking about that the other day. Like, what? it sucks that I like, I just don't look intimidating you know? <laughs> <laughs> Like, you gotta feel me to be like, oh crap, this guy's strong. Oh, this guy's actually strong. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but I could, like, I rolled with, like, tons of new people on Saturday because I never go on a Saturday class. And, like, you could tell they were just, like, blowing me off. Like, All right. right at the fist up. And then they try to pull guard and I don't move. And they're like, oh crap. <laughs> <laughs> That's super funny. It's like, yeah, dude, the gi is, it's tight fitted. Uh, like, I look pretty slim, but. You know? It's funny you say it because I guess like I don't look very, 
I used to be like 200 and something pounds, like 215, yeah. 220, right? So. I mean, like, you look like you can handle yourself, but both of us, we don't look like menacing. Yeah, bodies, fingers so. moving around. Yeah, yeah so like, I remember like, what, what, I remember one time at GB, like somebody was like, uh, like, oh, you're solid. Like, <laughs> yeah. I wanted to go like, boom, what, yeah, I don't look like, what, bro? You think I spent all this time doing yeah, all dude. this stuff so I can look like a slob? Like, what the <laughs> shit? Pissed me off. Like, I was like, jeez, what the fuck? How do I look then, dude? Yeah, it's super annoying. My boss was asking about these days. Because I told him about rolling with, uh, with the big guy. Mm. And then he was like, uh, when you and your buddy go, like, are you guys like, uh, like stalemate or whatever? And I was like, Aaron's deceptively strong for his size. And then, and then he was like, oh, really? Blah, blah, blah. And I was like, yeah, because, you know, like, Powerlifting versus like bodybuilding and aesthetics and stuff. Like, Aaron's been powerlifting like since high school. So I was, I was trying to like instill that that idea into his head. <laughs> I was like, yeah, man, it's, I don't think what you're thinking in your head is probably not accurate. So Yeah, there's like, what was the dude? There was that dude at work who just like, uh, and he was, and he like shorter than me. He's like shorter than me and not fit at all. <laughs> And I told him all that stuff, and I was like, uh, he was like, he was like, oh, you lift that much? I was like, yeah. He was like, you train that much too? I was like, yeah. He's like, oh, shit. Oh, damn. Okay. I was like, what? He's like, no, well, I just, you know, I, before, I just used to just kind of assume I could take you. And I was like, this dude, like, like, man, you got some freaking, like, and I'm not saying, like, he's, like, short, like, Right. He's like, he's like here. And it's like, there, there's dudes, like I've met dangerous dudes who are, who are that short. Yeah. But you true. like, 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 like those dudes, you can tell like, man, it's like, he's, he's a dude. Like he'll want yeah, to be trouble. He's trouble, you know, but this guy's just, you know, I mean, he's a nice guy and everything, but I was just kind of like, dude, like you assume a lot. I was like, am I really not that? It's like, damn, somebody passed me the steroids. <laughs> <laughs> So, wrestling versus jiu-jitsu. Wrestling! Why? Why? Because if you get power slammed into the cement, you're usually not going to get up. That's be the only reason why. I mean, if you're going to learn... If you're going to learn one thing... Right. Right? Because, like, wrestling kind of gets you out of... Wrestling gets you kind of... Gets you out of, like, almost every situation. Have you ever rolled with, like, a... Or tussled with like a a schooled or an educated wrestler, like an actual wrestler, wrestler. Because everyone's always talking about like there's levels to it, right? Like we've messed around with wrestlers before, like amateur wrestlers or whatever. But well, like a guy who's like D one or whatever they call it, the collegiate type style wrestlers. Because apparently there's like they're just smashers. They're just yeah. Well, I cause how that feels. Quite pretty ugly. <laughs> Right. <laughs> yeah, well, because it's just different. Well, I mean, the, the the biggest hindrance there is that they have a game plan and you don't. Right. So they already know what the fuck they're doing. You're you're defending against like nothing. It's like the same thing as like a guy who knows no jujitsu. It's like when they put like big, uh, uh freaking uh, weightlifter versus jujitsu, like yeah. uh. Yeah, that's propaganda. Yeah, and it's but like I mean, like. You know, we rolled against Jiu-Jitsu black belts, and I was, I'm like, yeah, there's some good ones, but it wasn't, it was, I wasn't like, holy cow, I'll never get to this level. Yeah, because it's like karate. Right. <laughs> I've, I've, I've tussled with judo black belts, and yeah. was, it's same thing. Yeah, it's same thing, yeah. But like, there's this whole aura with the wrestlers. That are it's, it's the same, it's, it's the same thing. I don't think it's that thing. The only, well, I mean, the only difference is that, that they do all this stuff, and they're better at this stuff than we are. Right. Right? Like, I would guess most, like, the intensity of their training is, is, is different. And they do, like, weightlifting, powerlifting kind of stuff on top of, like, super intense stuff. It's just different. Like, I mean, that's a type of, like, physical, the physical prowess of somebody who's, like, that 
level. It's like, look at like guys like Brock Lesnar. That guy was like... Yeah, and you're starting you know, from middle school, high school. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Like, I mean, that's all you do. Are you kidding? It's like, I did all the wrestling, rough housing, knocking people over from junior high to high school. Yeah. Right? Even maybe some in college. <laughs> And it's like, and that's probably like one of the, one of the things that, that helped me like, even with like no experience, hang with like, yeah, for sure. Blues and purples who were jujitsu guys, right? Cause it's like, I have strength, I have agility. I can move my body really well. I know angles and stuff like that cause of karate. And it's like, well, I've been thrown and throwing people around like my whole life just for fun. Right. Right. Without any kind of stuff. Like, so you take somebody who then learns that stuff. I mean, I don't know. I would imagine like they just grind, they just grind you into the floor, because uh, they know what to do, right? They know how to slip to get your ankles to turn you over, because that's their goal, right? Their goal is to, to get you on your back, yeah, to pin you. So it's not the same, right? Because it's like there's there's no lock or like like uh, they're not trying to tap you out. Yeah. Just, so there's no there's no waiting. It just holds. Yeah, it's it's just constantly, constantly drive, drive, drive. As if if you have the edge, you're driving to right. get the pin. It's not. Well, let me just freaking chill out here and sc- scope out the seat on my back. You know those guys who are like, just yeah, yeah. and they're just like ah. Oh. <laughs> you don't have time for that. <laughs> you do that, they're gonna smash you, man. Like right. You know. So yeah, I don't know. Like, I think. Just, just for the whole sake of like the physicality of all that stuff, like I, I would say wrestling first, just, just because it gets you to know like everything about like your body, dude. Like, like I mean, have you seen all those commercials for like the supplest stuff? Like, I mean, those oh, kids yeah. are amazing, dude. Like, versions. Yeah, you're doing like backflips and whatever the hell kind of a deal you know it's not like that's just like this is a part of our training you know that's like every day for them right is just doing that stuff so like what are we doing today okay so let's warm up um do some front handsprings do some flippy floppy thing back and forth uh pick up those 50 pound dummies and let's throw them 50 times each yeah. like that's your fucking warm-up bro like what the hell like that's ridiculous that's like a story of an okinawan master who like warmed up by doing like he would do backflips and like get his footprints on the ceilings before he falls down that was his warm-up what <laughs> yeah you're saying spider-man was an okinawan is that <laughs> he would like backflip touch the ceiling with his feet and come back down that's crazy yeah like where did that go? <laughs> yeah. that's like a, that's a resting workout. Right? Yeah. Like, where did that go? No, yeah. Like I mean, I guess that's part of like the reason why I have all this push for wanting to do that stuff. You know, I like, like the b-boy stuff and yeah, yeah for sure. Why not? Okay, so it's just like the hamstring curls. We do sets of ten, uh, and then we'll so we'll do this and then these these pulls. Cool. So then we'll do these. Uh, Oh, for the video tomorrow, I'm gonna do like the the throws concept thing. How like every throw is like this variation on three things, like the sweep, mm. the trip, the load. So people can look at how like there's like what 40, 50. Yeah, the 40 original throws. 40 original throws, and they're all basically three throws with yeah at different. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Like when we first started training together, you you mentioned that. And yeah, I hadn't, it hadn't clicked for me yet. No? And yeah. I'm like, but I'm taking judo. Well, that's not how it is. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> I'm glad you didn't say that to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, that's all it is, right? I mean... Yeah, for sure. Like, like, there's subtleties that make them, like... There's some... Like, okay, there's like a handful that are, like, vastly different, right? It's just, it's weird how they emphasize the differences where it gets to the point where people argue about what throw it was in a technique. Have you seen those yeah. like, discussions online? Yeah, who gives a shit, yeah, right? So like, weird. who cares? Like, I don't care. Like, who cares? Like, it's a, it, he fucking threw him. Like, that's all <laughs> yeah. that, that's it. Like, the yeah. guy's feet left the ground and he landed on his back. Right. Like, that was the goal. Who gives a goddamn what the hell it was called? 
His foot was here, not on the knee. Oh, so yeah, dude. Just, so the name is different. And so what? That discredits the fact that somebody acknowledged it was this? Yeah. That's like, that's like people... That's like the, like the person... Like the person who brings that up, <laughs> like that dude. That's the the coffee guy who just like is the elitist for. Yeah, for that's coffee, that's right? the dude who feels bad about himself. Right. Like you and you know right away it's like bro like who cares like nobody cares like why are you trying to steal his shine man. But then why do people like <clears throat> eat that up and also join in the discussion? Because people like to feel right. right. Like people want to feel. Like, people just want validation all the time, you know? It's like, I don't know how that, I don't know where that became, like, it used to be, like, I don't know. I, I don't know if it's just, like, the way things are going now or the way people are being, like, raised or taught or what. Like, it's just, uh, it's just weird. Like, and, like, I know, like, you have certain, you have, like, you know the, the the human system is set up in a way that's like like to to seek like rewards, right? right? And 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 good systems that keep you alive, kind of a deal. But but the whole thing of like seeking like validation, like the, and that and that group, like that herding mentality that kind of like starts piggybacking. Like one guy, right? One guy says something and some guy wants to agree, and then now they both get to feel good. About being shitty to somebody, right? Because I mean, you can, you can, and if you really felt you had to, like, I mean, if somebody says like, "Oh, that's you know," I don't know what's a coastal togadi or whatever, and then somebody's like, "Well, hey, dude, like that does kind of look like it, but it might actually be this," you know, like you could say like that, and and it, and you don't have to go into like nobody cares about your credentials, nobody cares about who you trade with. Or what the name of the guy is, like it doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. Like then, you go, then that brings up the point that it's it's easier to teach if it's labeled, right? Yeah, it's easier to teach if it's labeled, but not <laughs> like not every like you could have like there's too many names, right? Like it's like the trip that is the reaping. It's like well, where do you do it? To any part that you can, right? As long as you're reaping through their lake, inside or outside, you can do it. Cutting out their center. Yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, but then they they were like, well, I, I don't know, people just couldn't get that. So then they had to like say like, okay, well, fine. Like, you can do it here. And then you can do it here. And we'll call this one this, and we'll call this one this, that you can get. Didn't they like attribute, I think they like put higher points to certain throws too, right? That's For di- levels of difficulty or something like that, so I guess. Hard. Part of the support aspect of the team. Right? Like, can you can you land this one? <clears throat> like, I don't, I don't know, man. Like that that's so so. It's so funny. Like it, it and it's so like I don't know how you feel so so. Like it's just a sport. <laughs> <laughs> like you're not saving lives. Right. Like, you know, like, it's just a sport. Like enjoy it. Be cool with it. Like, but I don't. Yeah, it's funny because it's like. We're so opi- opinionated on this stuff, and at the end of the day, it doesn't matter to us. It, that much, it really you know? doesn't matter. Yeah, I, I, I really don't care. I'm still gonna do whatever the, what I want to do. Right. Like you know, we're gonna push our thing because we like it. But you know, if you don't agree, if you don't agree with it, then don't agree with it. You know, like the end of the day, all that matters is like what you like. Everything is perception, right? Everything is what you decide to believe in your own little microcosm kind of a deal. So it only matters if you decide it matters. But in the end, it all it all doesn't matter.